Hello there, thanks for stopping by. Once again, this is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, today we're going to take a look at the Ubuntu Mate Linux Distribution 17.04 Beta 2, the final beta, I believe, before the final release, probably in a couple of weeks or so, two to three weeks in the month of April. Well, I have to tell you, in, in hmm, 10 years of doing this, testing different Linux distributions, everything from the lightweight to the super heavy, from the simple to the super snazzy, I keep coming back to the simple things in life, to the simple Linux distros, such as Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint Mate, Linux Mint XFCE, distributions like that, I tend to gravitate too and maybe it's because I come for many years of you know using Windows I'm not sure but I have to tell you I gave Ubuntu Mate oh uh, was it last year year before I called this the this the standard of excellence as far as Linux distros at least for beginners based on what I saw and based on my tests so once again we have the latest Ubuntu Mate 17.04 and I have to tell you, even testing this in a virtual box, it installed flawlessly. It has an automatic installer, which is great for beginners. And running this inside a, you know, inside a virtual box with Linux Mint Mate. Yes, there's something about me and Mate. I, I just love it. And running this even inside a, a virtual machine, I have not seen any issues so far. So when you first install this and reboot, well, you come to the welcome screen. Now, you may have seen this before with Linux Mint Mate, but uh, it's nicely done also in Ubuntu Mate, and it is pronounced Mate. You can say mate. Martin Wimpress, the terrific uh, maintainer and the creator of Ubuntu Mate, really doesn't care how you call it. Uh, you can get more information on his website. I did a podcast with him a few years ago about how Ubuntu Mate came about. And I will have a link to that podcast below in the show notes. There's also a new podcast with Martin on the Ubuntu podcast website also. And if you want to also, I'll post a link for that below in the show notes also. But let's take a look at this. So let's pretend you are coming from a Windows machine and wanted to take a look at this. So let's see if this can help out. So let's scroll down here. Briefly, Ubuntu Mate is an operating system, the core is software that runs your computer similar to Windows, Apple OS X, and Google's Chrome OS. Ubuntu Mate is a, desktop, is a desktop distribution, also called a distro, if you didn't know. Dependable, secure, capable, and modern system, <clears throat> pardon me, modern system that rivals all others in popularity and usage. So, Unlike other operating systems, Linux is used on the most on most of the world's fastest and most powerful supercomputers, on many if not most of the computers that make up the backbone of the internet, and on corporate servers. Ubuntu Mate is a stable, easy to use operating system with a configurable desktop environment. It is you know, it's full featured as it says here. And it gives you to free and, it, and Ubuntu Mate gives you the freedom to run a complete system for all of your daily computing needs. So I won't go into all of this. You can certainly take a look at this. Of course, it is based of Ubuntu. And really, it's more based of the old GNOME 2 desktop environment, the pre-Unity days. Uh, I believe Ubuntu switched to Unity back in 2011 or 2012. And a lot of you did not like it. I like it. Maybe it's because it, it looks so different than Windows that I fell in love with Ubuntu Unity. And that's the beauty of Linux. You have many, many choices. All right, so let's go back and uh, see what else we have on the welcome screen. Then we'll take a look at the software. Okay, so modern and full featured. And in my tests in the past and in this one, this should be, it's one of those systems where if you're used to Windows 8 or Windows 7 or Windows 10 and wanted to try this, coming out of the box, this is probably everything you need at least to get you started, such as Firefox, web browser, LibreOffice Suite, Entertainment Rhythm Box, of course, VLC. Let's go back. Getting started. Take a look. Now again, if you're coming from a Windows environment, this is pretty easy stuff here. You should not have a problem going through this. So updates, extras, drivers, 
so on again, pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just showing this that if you are coming from a Windows, Windows background, this should be one of your first choices in my opinion. Let's take a look at the software. And it's the software boutique, how cache. So this is where you can look to browse software and to download software. Once you become more advanced with Linux, you may want to take a look at something called the Synaptic Package Manager. But this is perfectly fine to get you started. And you can see here at the top, it is in categories. So let's take a look at, say, Internet and see what we have. Now these are going to be recommended downloads and uh, apps for Ubuntu Mate. We have Chromium, Corebird, of course Firefox, and the list goes on. Once again, pretty much self-explanatory. So let's go back, and I'll tell you what, I think you guys can catch the gist of this. Let's go into the actual desktop itself. Very simple. This is what Ubuntu looked like before they switched to Unity for better or for worse. To me, it was neither better or for worse. It was just a choice, a different desktop environment. But for beginners, this would probably be my first choice. Self-explanatory. You want to right-click if you so choose to, as you could in Windows. And you have some options here, such as different backgrounds. Now, I will say this, running this inside a virtual machine. It runs great. It's going to run faster as a full install, but you can certainly test this inside a virtual machine, and I believe it will run smooth enough. Panel at the top, panel at the bottom. If you don't want a panel at the bottom, you can just right-click and delete. The one thing I've always liked about this kind of desktop at the ability is the ability to add little applets, little shortcuts to the panel. And you have a choice here. So for example, let's say I wanted to add the trash icon, go to trash, and there we go. And you can right click, delete it, move it, again, simple. This is what, it's miss this is, what is missing in a, the GNOME 3 or a GNOME shell environment and with Ubuntu Unity. Again, it's not necessarily better or worse, but I found this to be a little bit more user friendly. So let's go through this briefly here. Applications, accessories, and I'll go through this quickly just to see if anything sticks out. Uh, Synapse, keyboard launcher, very good. Education, LibreOffice, graphics, nothing unusual here. Internet, of course, Firefox, Thunderbird, very popular apps. Office, the usual LibreOffice suite. Sound and video, VLC definitely sticks out great piece of software for both Linux and Windows. System Tools, the GDB Package Installer, fantastic package installer. I use this all the time. And some universal access choices here. Places, well, home folder. Let's take a quick look. Icon view, list view, and compact view. Again, very simple. And this is based off Keja or Kaha. Kaha lets you organize files and folders on your computer. So again, very simple. Let's move along. Desktop computer and the Mate search tool. Again, self-explanatory. Let's go to system. Now this is where you would, maybe this might take a little bit more getting used to, but it is not that difficult. If we go to, let's say, the software updater, the one thing that Linux, I will say that the one advantage, big advantage that Linux has over, over Windows is how updates are implemented and in, installed and the time involved in Linux is much, much less. I just don't like, even though I use Windows 10, it works. Putting aside the politics of Windows 10, we talked about privacy and, you know, issues like that. Putting that aside, Windows 10 works, but what I really don't like about Windows 10 is how it does updates. And with Linux, you'll find this to be a lot more simplified and a lot more faster. Much, much faster. And when you do updates in Linux, you don't necessarily have to reboot. So we have a few updates here, but let's move along. Going back to the system. Well, let's see, anything else sticks out here? Uh, yeah, let's move along. Preferences. Hardware, 
internet look and feel. And this is where you may want to tweak how your desktop looks. So the Mate tweak. So desktop interface, the panel and windows. Now again, you can enable, if you want to get fancy, assuming your computer is capable of it, you can go to Compiz, and this will enable certain effects such as wobbly windows and the cube. Some of you may have seen the Linux cube, usually in Ubuntu. But if you want to keep it simple, you can just leave this the way it is. The layout. Well, let's see. Mutiny is kind of a take on Ubuntu Unity. Let's take a quick look. I think it'll work in the virtual box, yes. And this will give you the Ubuntu Unity look. But personally, if I wanted to use Ubuntu Unity, then I'll just use that versus making this look like Unity. But the point is, the Linux desktop is highly, highly customizable. Let's go back to system, and how about if we go back to the way this was, back to Mate Tweak, and we'll leave this in the standard Mate layout, because that's why I like it. All right, moving along. Let's see, look and feel, we looked at other backups, personal, preferred applications, startup applications. And if you wanted to speed up the startup on Ubuntu Mate, let's take a quick look at this. If it was me, I don't need backup monitor, Blue Man applet, I don't need that. Anything else? Uh, Orca reader, I reader, I don't need that to start up. Again, now there's nothing wrong with these programs. This is just an example of how I, I would tweak it. And the rest of this, I would probably leave. I probably, since I'm used to this, I probably would also remove and start up the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. But if you are completely new, I recommend you leave it maybe for a month or so until you get more acclimated to how this works. That's it. Ubuntu Mate, in my opinion, the excellence continues. And if you are starting off, this is probably all you're going to need to get started in a Linux distribution. And you will find that if you start using Linux and you're not, and you don't need specific programs like Adobe, Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, or something like that, you may find the alternatives in Linux may suffice. If it doesn't, that's okay. You can just dual boot like I do. It is safe. And... That's what I've been doing for years now, and I completely enjoy using both systems, both systems. But I find myself lately using more Linux than Windows because I just don't care for the update process in Windows. Again, strictly my opinion. That's it. That is my look at the Mate desktop, Ubuntu Mate. Yes, I've had a love affair with the Mate desktop going back with Linux Mint for a few years now. So it's my favorite. I will still give Ubuntu Mate the number one choice if you are coming from a Windows background. Once you get used to that, you can certainly try Linux Mint Mate or maybe Ubuntu Unity or maybe something even more advanced such as Arch, but that would be something way down the line after you get more familiarized with how Linux works. That's it for this one. Post your comments below. If you try this out, if you are new to Linux and want to try this out, you may want to wait to the final release just so they can you know, catch up and fix any bugs, but it's certainly safe enough to install in a virtual machine. After the final release comes out, if you want to install it in a test machine or as a dual boot after the final release comes out, then I would certainly recommend that. But for now, if you are new to this, I would probably say test this inside a virtual box since it is not a final product. And that, I think you'll be satisfied. Well, that's it. It is after 11. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you have any recommendations or suggestions, comments, or tips, post them. Not post, but post them below in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
This is seven years of the Total OS Today technology channel. This month marks seven years. What started off as a hobby, didn't take it seriously. Now I do, and I take all of you guys seriously. I would say have fun, play, but play seriously. Information is great, technology is great, and it can, in some ways, technology, it can improve your lives. And maybe Linux can be part of your life. That's it. Take care. I'll catch you guys later.